Hey guys, um, welcome back. It's been a very, very long time, um, but it is the start of the year, so it is officially time to go back to uni. Today, uh, we're going to be going into med school and it's essentially the first week of the year. So a lot of stuff's happening, a lot of content that we've already had to kind of go through and yeah, new year. It's technically my first year in med school, my first day at med school, like properly. A couple previous years before was all like pre clean so pre, kind of like pre-med school, but yeah, now it's like med med school. So it's very, very scary. Better get going or else I'm gonna be late. No. I have to uh, it's around about like in the morning, like 40 minutes. That's not fun. I'll catch you guys up on what's been happening in my life. I had my birthday and that was really good. Got to go to Melbourne and Sydney with my family for a holiday. That was really good. Also got to see Rachel uh, and we went on a cruise um, from Brisbane to New Caledonia, which is really good. I'll put some pictures here. Yeah, I'm not sure you guys realize, but I, I took like a mini hiatus on social media. Just really needed like a, a reset. Uh, I was feeling really drained at the end of the year, and I just wanted to look after myself, um, particularly going and heading into the new year, and just get my mind right. But I'm finally back. I am going to be posting more regularly. I will see you guys at med school because the traffic is horrendous. Well, I'll show you guys. This is the speed we're going. We're supposed to be going 60 kilometers, if not miles, for all you Americans. Alright guys, we made it. The first class I have for today, um, besides just the lecture that's on at the moment, is clinical skills. We have a module, it's called clinical practice. Um, it basically goes through clinical interviewing, like communication skills, history taking for patients, um, like ethical procedures, OBS, so like blood pressure, um, heart rate, um, all that stuff. And every week before for a clinical practice, you just gotta watch them and familiarize yourself with the content. Um, and then, yeah, just take notes and learn um, during the clinical skills tutorial procedure room. What I'm gonna do now is just look through my notes that I've written for them, um, make sure I familiarize myself with it so that I don't look stupid. It's all really, 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 really exciting, but yeah, just gonna look through those notes first. Um, see if there's anything else that I need to cover, um, and then we'll head over to clinical skills. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Hi, uh, my name is Dong Lin. I'm a first year student here from this medical center. Uh, Super has brought me to see you today instead of the normal doctor. So, what were you doing here today? Um, so, I was playing footy match um, okay. about two hours ago and I got tackled by these two players. And I, I pretty much broke my nose. Um, I was okay. bleeding a lot and I have. Like, say like a pretty bad headache at the moment. Starting with just the um, general just nose first. Where is the nose? In my Alright guys, clean skills is done, which means it's time to eat. Today we're having tikkor. I don't know what that is in English. Rice. Peas, tuna, and bodega. I read that 8 out of 10. This is scrumptious. Mom's cooking. Slade. Um, but right now, um, just got like lectures to look through and just notes to take from like the clinicals. Um, tutorial 
So yeah, just gonna go through that and then. There are a couple of lectures that I didn't attend and were recorded. Um, for example, the one this morning and a couple yesterday. So I have to go through those now. That's the end of uh, day one, pretty much. Around four o'clock, and I don't have any other classes left. But yeah, today we had clean skills, and then I had some online lectures I had to watch, and I had a couple of meetings in between. But no, it was a pretty productive day. It's so hard. I don't want to get into the car. But it's gonna drive home and just like chill out for a bit, and then there's still still so much content that i have to go through first week's course is on fundamentals so we're just going through genetics chromosomes pedigree table all that jazz pretty scary because um like all of genetics that we've learned in my first and second year we go through in the first three weeks which is kind of crazy yeah just gonna go home and drink my protein shake because i'm a bit fat now and yeah see you guys at home Bye. All right, guys, I'm officially home. Said hi to Jazz, said hi to Yuki. Had a meeting and then I went through the lecture slides that I haven't gone through, just one of them. Yeah, I just felt really tired today. I don't know, really drowsy. So yeah, just took a power nap. Uh, I think I slept for like two hours, one and a half hours. But yeah, sometimes it's important to like listen to your body. Being in tune with your body will be really helpful because sometimes, you know, you, you are just really tired and you need two hours of like rest to, to feel better. But at the start of every week, uni releases all the lecture slides and all the LOs, which is learning object, yeah, learning objectives, and those are the learning objectives that you're required to, to obviously learn. There is something from med school that I think is really beneficial that you can all apply, so you don't have to be in med school. But like, if you are studying a major that requires you to um, study a lot, specifically on concepts, and require you to like remember, it's good to incorporate like active recall. I've talked about this before. One of the other things that I quickly talk about, particularly relevant in like med school, but I think you can apply to like pretty much anything, is you want to be like an active learner, not a passive learner. I'll give you an example of passive learning. You get the lecture notes and you just like copy and paste them, and then you read over. That's pretty much like rote learning. Um, you're just remembering things. You don't actually understand fundamentals. Active learning is when you annotate or you, you write what the lecture slides are on, but in your own words, so that you have an understanding of what it is. And then you consistently revisit those concepts and ask yourself like open-ended questions, see if you can teach them to someone else, see if you can recall. What I'll do is I'll copy notes from the lecture slides and then I'll paste them into ChatGPT. And then I'll say, ask me short answer questions, give me multiple choice questions based on these lecture notes. And although sometimes like it's off and beyond your scope of learning, because it's what's given in the lecture notes, it should give you like a pretty detailed quiz, right? But yeah, that's like one way of creating like a question bank and testing yourself if you actually understand. When you're getting towards the point at the end of high school and you really want to get those top grades or you know, you're, you're in a course that's really study content heavy focused, it's best to like implement active learning and just remember and understand. I think it's the best. Don't just like, yeah. Unless you have a photographic memory like Mark Ross, but yeah, be an active learner is the takeaway. I particularly like listening to music when I'm studying, just in the background, like listening to some like, some like, How's Moving Castle type B. Um, I'll put my like, my study playlist down in the link below, but I also really like to sing. I feel like singing and just doing something that's other than just looking at the screen. Like if you're studying and then your, your break is like watching Netflix, that's fine. Like I sometimes do that as well, but sometimes I need something completely different. So actually I'll sing a bit now. Wait, let me get my guitar. I thought I was gonna sing. I'm not gonna sing.
kiss me slowly it's the sweetest thing i actually got to say see that live daniel caesar salad got to see him perform live i feel like singing for me and like playing music is like my escape along with like going to the gym like just then i completely forgot that i have eight hours of lectures to watch can you see that in the reflection yeah transcription rna polymerase primer helicase and then to to poison to morase yeah and then the okazi fragments up here <laughs> sometimes it's a person um for me those people would be like rachel um mum dad jasmine and some of my friends yeah i'm gonna play a bit more um just relax a bit and then go back to studying ha <laughs> ha so fun call it night it's 11 31 i'm not sure you can see in a reflection right there but it's 11 31 so yeah i don't have med school tomorrow but we got like online classes um via teams which is kind of like zoom teams microsoft teams yeah um i think today was pretty productive um and oh just turned off on me yeah i am gonna go to bed now how exciting uh, first day back in med school. It was good. I actually feel a little bit more like a med student. Yeah, today got clean skills. Next week, we're going to be learning how to take vital signs, which is really exciting. I have my my hospital pass. Yeah, it's where it's like, yeah. And yeah, getting my stethoscope soon, which is really exciting. Hey guys, um, yeah, good morning. What time is it? 7 30 a.m. So, yeah, it's super early. But I'm just gonna pretty much try to watch like the eight hours of like lecture content that I need to watch by around two o'clock. We'll take a big break, go down and have lunch, and then, yeah, I don't have uni today, but I feel like it's really important to stay on top of things and obviously just relax a bit, but yeah. So much work to do. basically went through like all of the content that was like released for the week and yeah no it was really good time to study 
need to go over what we went through in the tutorial, especially the stuff that like I didn't understand. Every day when I wake up, I write out a list of things that I need to complete. And there's like, usually this like booklet or this notepad that I use, but unfortunately it's run out of pages. So I've just written it here on like my, my laptop. Yeah, also have, you know, go gym, film, YouTube today, buy a book, re revise, hellos for the test um, and then other, other stuff. Stretch. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I got through basically all of the tutorial stuff. I actually understand everything now, which is amazing. Right now, I'm gonna head home, drive to Officeworks, and then we have dinner. Um, I have basketball tonight, and then once again, revise my learning, like the learning objectives for this week, because we have a test tomorrow. I have to get out of this hellhole. You know what? I think this mirror will have to do, but yeah, this is a fit. Got my ID. I got these nice, like really nice jeans, but I'm not sure you guys can see them with like boots. guys it's about like 10 like 10 ish minutes before i have to go in but yeah wish me luck wish me luck but yeah after the test i'll know if i study well if i need to change like my study and if i need to put more time in but i won't be able to film because it's a test um but i'll tell you I'll tell you how it goes. Okay, bye. All right, guys, test is done. Um, TBLs are done. That's like basically the end of the week. But I'll show you how I went in my test. Got 70%, which is like, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know, and that's great because yeah, medicine is just, there's so much scope and there's so much you need to learn. And, and with like any topic or like subject or area that you want to improve on, when you find out what you don't understand, you can address it straight away. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, everyone's going home, but I'm going to stay in uni for a bit to look over my notes and look over the questions that I got wrong in particular. I'm going to write out, you know, why I thought it was this, but then underneath it, you know, why it's actually this. and. Hopefully, yeah, go over some like more material just to make sure like my, it's like up in here. Yeah, seven out of 10 isn't like amazing. It's okay, like passing, but obviously I want to get to a point where I'm hitting like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Back to med school, how exciting, ah! But I'm officially back, I'm going to be posting a lot more. Yeah, I hope you guys really liked this um, insight into like my week as a med student, but I'll let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate like all the support and everything. Yeah, I hope that whatever you're going through, whatever you're striving to be and whatever you want to achieve, like I hope as long as you put in the hard work, it happens. But other than that, I'm gonna let you guys go. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.